Welcome back, everybody. Final segment in our Sanwa week continues. Today in the spotlight, PC700 digital multimeter, 10,000 counts of auto-ranging goodness from Sanwa. Remember, at the end of the week, I'm giving away one Sanwa multimeter to one lucky subscriber. All you have to do to get entered is simply leave a comment below and you're automatically entered. Hey, what are you waiting for? Hope everybody's enjoying the Sanwa week. It's been a lot of fun enjoying all the comments and uh, as always, much appreciated. Now, taking a look at this awesome multimeter, the Sanwa PC700, we're gonna start off by looking at what comes in the box. Speaking of box, really, really nice, um, solid. This thing is gonna take a knock and, and keep on rocking. You've got your wonderful Sanwa test leads. What can I say? I am a uh, big fan of Sanwa leads. Always gold plated, always just feel, feel really nice. We'll take a closer look at those shortly. As well, you get your uh, manual. This was actually a full size manual. Um, English and Japanese, you just simply switch sides. And uh, I really like the format, very easy on the eyes, nice big diagrams, pictures, extremely verbose, tells you everything you need to know about your new PC700. And as well, with every Sanwa, you get that. The Venerable Calibration Assurance Certificate telling you that it has been calibrated at the Sanwa factory. Speaking of the Sanwa factory, this particular Sanwa, the PC700, hails from Taiwan. It is manufactured in Taiwan or Sanwa. PC700 has some pretty nice specs. It is a 10,000 count LCD display, Cat3 600 volt, Cat2 1000 volt. The bar graph updates at get this 60 times per second, 60. Has a dual display, a voltage or current plus frequency. Um, and on the capacitance range as well, it's, it's pretty uh, nifty, 0.01 nanofarad all the way up to 25 millifarad. So um, some pretty decent specs on the PC700. Another neat feature with the Sanwa is it has a nifty little magnetic holder on the back. And as well, this has something called PC Link. So this is a separate um, purchase, but the PC Link software um, is capable of communicating via USB, optical USB with your PC. Now, I'm not going to be testing that out today. I do not have the software or that cable, um, so we're not going to put that as part of the overall review, but it is an option. You can do data logging upstream with your PC with PC700. Okay, PC, PC700. It's starting to make sense. Fit and finish, as with every Sanwa I've ever reviewed, is a second to none. Just screams, quality, um, excellent, excellent ergonomics. You have a really nice holster case here, which will come off and uh, quite a heavy meter, um, definitely more in the heavy than the light side, uh, really, really solid. Once again, you do have that magnetic hanging strip, so if you want to simply put it up somewhere to a metal uh, wall or plate, maybe you're an electrical panel, it will certainly hang. It's a strong magnet, meter's not going anywhere. Another nice thing with all the sand was the soft touch buttons are extremely high quality, uh, really nice fit and finish. Finally, that selector switch, Beautiful. Sanwa does an excellent job when it comes to manufacturing selector switches. They are smooth as butter. And that's pretty smooth. As always, that tilt stand comes out at a nice 45 degree angle. Take a closer look at that selector switch starting off at the 9 o'clock or off position. Volts AC plus frequency. Volts DC, including duty cycle and logic level frequency. Millivolts from 60 to 600. Millivolts AC, including frequency. Resistance, up to 60 mega ohm. Continuity, capacitance and diode. Milliamps and high current amps, AC-DC, including frequency. Microamps, AC-DC, including frequency. Bottom left of the meter, we have our high current 10 amp input. It has a alarm embedded, so if you misplace those leads, you will get an audible warning. Below that, we have our milliamp microamp input milliamps up to 600. Finally, in the far right, we have our common, and on the right, our voltage, frequency, resistance, continuity, capacitance, and diode. At the top, we have our selector button. Beside that, our range hold, followed by a rel, and finally, a touch hold on the right. Oh, yeah. Ah. Let's turn on the sandwich, shall we? 
And wow, look at that. A lot of enunciators on that initial startup. After a second, we are greeted with a very, very nice dual display, high contrast, and lots of clarity. Now, be forewarned, once again, this meter does not ship with a backlight. Ah, oh, too bad, Sanwa. I was really kind of expecting a backlight when I received this meter, but um, alas, it was not to be. Now, there is another model, the PC7000, which has a crazy high resolution um, that does ship with a backlight. Um, this is like the big brother to the PC700. Uh, obviously more expensive, but um, yeah, sure would have been nice to see that backlight on this one as well. So there you go, a really crisp, vibrant display. Um, nice looking bar graph, all in all, um, 10 out of 10 in terms of clarity. Good job, Sanwa. Leads themselves are TL23As, and they do have that removable shroud. Nice gold pointy tip. Uh, the feel is absolutely gorgeous. They feel incredible. Um, very, very nicely done. Uh, should be looking at 2.500 volts and wow, Sanwa accuracy. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful, and beautiful. Next up, we should be seeing 5.000 volts. Also close, 5.002. Amazing Sanwa accuracy. And just look at that gorgeous dual display. All right, 7.5 volts is next. 7.502. And we're coming up at 7.505. Oh, wow. Love that accuracy. Finally, we're going to look at 10 volts. And wow, so, so close. 9.999. Gorgeous. I got to say that bar graph is really nice as well. You can see it's super sensitive. And um, yeah. Alrighty. I'd say in terms of accuracy, this thing kicks the llama's butt. All right, now we're getting an audible alarm. We're about to check milliamps. And as you can see, I'm not in the milliamp range. Do have the input into the milliamp. Take it out, the alarm stops, put it back in. It's saying, stick me in the right range, buddy. Milliamps, there we go. All right, so we are in low milliamp mode and look at that, no worries here, 20 milliamps. Looking good. Bring it down. 19.5. Let's bring it all the way to 18 milliamps. 18.08 milliamps showing up. Bring it right down. 15 milliamps. No worries here. Ten point four milliamps. Beauty, beauty, beauty. 8 milliamps, once again, no worries here. No worries in the low current department whatsoever. 6 milliamps, 6 milliamps, spot on. Low can you go? Well, let's find out. 2.9 milliamps, 2.88 on the Sanwa. 2 milliamps even, 1.9798. Let's take it down to 1 milliamp. 0.97 milliamps. 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5 milliamps, half a milliamp, showing up as 0.47. And finally, look at that. Yeah, so as you can see, excellent meter for uh, low current mode. Beauty. Finally, we're going to take a look at high current, sitting at 1.91 amps. Uh, no worries here. Let's take it up. 2.68 amps, 2.68 for the Sanwa. 4.05, 4.046, oh, so close. Up, up and away, 7.01 amps, 6.99 on the Sanwa. We're gonna max it out now. 10.35 amps, 10.33 for the Sanwa. And there you go. So this is one really accurate meter. Loving it. How do we take a close up of that bar graph and yet yeah, amazing it is so so smooth very very precise uh, no flutter whatsoever um, excellent you know it's almost like analog incredible great job finally with that gorgeous dual display you can see we have our ac voltage 121 volts and our frequency as well 60 hertz 
Now, if you want to switch the look, hit that select button and our frequency is the uh, dominant one showing up now, 60 Hertz and the voltage at the top, uh, a little bit smaller font. Um, cool, very nice. Next up, a quick look at resistance, sitting at nine mega ohm right now, down to seven mega ohm, five mega ohm, three mega ohm, Yeah, beauty. One mega ohm even. Oh yeah, loving it, loving it. Let's try 900 kilo ohm. Beauty, beauty. 500. Excellent. So quick to range, um, quick to settle. It's a no brainer. This thing has no problems in resistance. Already Aphrodite, time for continuity. Three, two, one. These are the stock leads. Those gorgeous TL23As. By the way, they're rated at 10 amps. Oh yeah, they're so nice. Look at them. I mean, they're just, they're gorgeous. Okay, three, two, one. Wow, super loud, super latched. And I mean, yeah, I mean, what, what can I say? What can I say, Bobby? It's a 10 out of 10. Loving it. Pro Masters are next. Honestly, really not going to make any difference. How can you improve on perfection? Well, you just can't. Yeah, once again, 10 out of 10. No worries here. Eighty-eight point two decibels. The output volume in continuity mode. And that, my friend, is very, very loud. Next up is diode mode. I have the standard silicon diode. Here we go. No worries there. Forward voltage drop. Looking good. Okay, finally, finally, we've got the LEDs. Let's see if we can light up all of these. Pearly little LEDs, starting off with the green LED. Yes, it is lit. And there's our forward voltage drop over to the yellow. Barely lit. Once again, we do have a forward voltage drop. Over to the red, same. The blue, oh yes, once again, barely lit, but no forward voltage drop. Oh, really disappointing. Finally, the white, it is lit, but no forward voltage drop. Ah, okay, well, hmm. Five for five in terms of illumination, three to five in terms of the actual voltage drop display. Ah. Well, that's okay. Three volts, the output voltage in diode mode. Finally, capacitance is next. I have a 10 millifarad. I'm thinking 10.13 millifarad. Going, going, gone. 10.13 millifarad. Finally, in the low capacitance range, we've got a one nanofarad capacitor here. And yeah, no worries there. Looking good. So tiny. All right, I get it. By the way, the hold feature is strictly your standard touch hold. Um, nothing fancy going on. I thought originally this was a type of hold where you can first um, get your reading and then after a second or two, it would automatically freeze that reading. But no, this is just a standard hold feature. Take your feature, take your reading rather, and press the hold. Yeah, too bad. Already pretty impressive thus far, I have to admit. Um, the big brother, the PC-7000, gets all of the attention. This poor little guy is basically left out in the cold, but uh, suffice to say, he can really hold his own. All right, let's take it apart and see what's on the inside. So we have one Phillips screw holding that battery cover. We take it off, and the nice thing is that it is a captive screw, so it's not going to go anywhere. You're not going to lose it. Um, and wow, look at that. There's our 9-volt battery. Has a nice little retention ribbon so you can just easily pluck it out and beauty two fuses the milliamp and the high current side and wow look at that nice big fat hrc gorgeous so uh yeah already it's looking really really sweet and as you can see how uh, nice threaded brass insert for that battery cover so sandwich quality already shining through 
Taking a look on the inside, uh, ABS plastic. There is our piezo, but uh, disappointingly, no shielding to speak of whatsoever. Ah, that's too bad. Starting off with those input jacks. Wow, wow. They are uh, on a separate daughter board, a little riser board. Um, fantastic soldering going on there. And uh, wow, they're in there. Definitely for the long term, no worries here. Now that riser board is connected with a four prong terminal slot, as you can see. And uh, I was trying to give you a better angle, but I really can't pull it out any further. I'd have to start desoldering everything, which I really don't want to do. But um, we've got a, a couple of high powered resistors underneath there. And we have a, a big, big, juicy PTC over here. And as well, it looks like we have a, a MOV, um, perhaps two of them. In fact, there is two as well underneath there. So a lot of that critical input protection is hidden right underneath those input jacks. Very interesting. Also really interesting is that uh, milliamp fuse is on its own separate daughter board as well. Um, it's just plugged in there like so. You can see how that just connects with these little pin connectors here onto the main PCB. So separate connectivity for the milliamp. And on the high current side, yeah, big, gorgeous, uh, wow, 1000 volt. Uh, that looks like it is an 11 amp uh, ceramic HRC fuse. Uh, definitely uh, gonna do the job, wow. We also have some diode clamping going on here. There's here, we've got that really nice current shunt, um, very thick and uh, just a gorgeous looking shunt. So um, yeah, really nice attention to detail. Uh, another high powered resistor. And moving up the line here, we're coming up to that uh, opto isolation part of the board. That riser board is connected via those terminals as well. Both sides of the board, we have an eight pin connectivity uh, to plug that into the main PCB. Now that just pops off. Over here we have the main IC followed by a big crystal oscillator. Actually we have two of those tin cans residing on opposite sides. Um, lots and lots of tiny tiny smd components on this pcb as you can see it is definitely a busy busy board no ncv or anything else like that on this meter um strictly the uh bare bones over here we have a dual op amp as well finally we've got our nine volt terminal contacts at the bottom all in all really nicely done definite sandwa quality shining through and uh yeah this is a very nicely made meter okay i'm gonna put everything back together come back with my closing thoughts sandwall pc 700 is certainly feature packed it has a lot of bang and it definitely has value um i didn't get a chance to test that pc link software but that being said from what i've heard from others it works and it works really well it's just too bad that it is an expensive add-on uh, definitely would have been nice to have that included in the package. Speaking of expense, uh, the meter is not cheap. We're looking at around at least $200 Canadian, um, anywhere in the two to $300 range. That being said, you definitely get what you're paying for. Um, you're getting a lot of incredible build quality here. Super, super design and just extremely robust input protection as well. This thing is built like a tank. Sanwa PC700 gets a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching this review. That is the end of the Sanwa week. Oh my goodness, it went by so fast. I wish I had more of these meters to review. But hey, there's always another day. Listen, I hope you enjoyed this Sanwa week. It's been a lot of fun bringing these meters to you. Great quality. Thanks to Sanwa for helping out. And you know what? Definitely, I can't say enough about the company. They're doing a heck of a great job putting out some fine, fine test measuring instruments. And don't forget that contest coming tomorrow. I'm gonna do the magic draw and one lucky subscriber is gonna win a San Juan meter. Which meter? Well, all of them. No, 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 yeah, I wish. It's gonna be this guy. It's gonna be the little pocket mini digital multimeter from San Juan. That's worth about a hundred bucks. So, hey, don't be shy. If you want it, leave a comment below and you're automatically entered to win. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, keep on testing.